You know, Catholic Charities tells me that they have been helping busloads of migrants who have been coming through town since February for months now. They say that they're expecting another busload or two today. They tell me that they're stepping in because charities closer to the border, they are asking for help. They say they have to have it. Okay, Ooh, you got that sizzle. Volunteers with Catholic Charities are making warm meals. Today, spaghetti. We'll open up a little restaurant. They're prepping food for a busload of migrants coming in from El Paso. Border Patrol says right now about a thousand people are crossing the border there each day. Multiple organizations like Catholic Charities are helping the migrants once they're in the U.S., including those passing through Albuquerque. Today, I believe that 100 are coming in from two different groups. Volunteers maintain migrants don't stay in Albuquerque. They say they come here for a day or two until they travel to other cities where families are waiting for them. Smells, good. Smells very good, yeah. yeah. They are released only if they have a sponsor, which would be a family member to whom they will go to, and they have a court date as well. So, and that court date is to proceed with their asylum case. All right, y'all, Catholic Charities not releasing the locations where the migrants are arriving or staying. They say not only for privacy reasons, but for safety reasons also. They, they tell me that they know that this is controversial and they maintain the people who are helping the migrants are volunteers. Live at Catholic Charities, I'm Nancy Laughlin. Back to you. Now, we did check with the city to see if any taxpayer dollars are being spent on this, and a spokesperson says no.